What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. That's right, if you're new to the channel, we talk about all things lockup related from the streets to the courtroom prison. If that's the type of shit that you're into, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave. Now, Friday night, I made a video and I removed it almost immediately because I just, you know, I seen something that was taking place in this jail block that I thought was uh, just a, a regular old magic trick, right? It had to have been a magic trick. Well, it turns out I think this was some, some serious, like, witchcraft shit. And I don't jive with that, dog. I don't jive with none of that. But anyways, let's get into it. This story is a perfect example of instant karma. I don't really like to use the word karma, so I'll just say instant. You get what you put out. Now, allow me to give you a quick rundown of this individual. I believe he was a teenager when all this took place. He was a carjacker. That was his M.O. He carjacked a guy... A uh, grown man shot him in the side of the head, right here around the jawline. He survives. He ends up coming to the courtroom. You're going to see him here in a second. But he steals the guy's car. Two days later, he goes for another car jacking on a woman. This woman happens to be strapped up shorty. Smoked his ass. Left him paralyzed. Now, I know a lot of people are probably like, damn, he got shot. He's paralyzed. Uh, isn't that enough? The judge should show leniency since he's already got gunned down for the most part. That's enough punishment, right? Think again. Courtrooms don't care if you got shot or not. They're still going to convict you for the crime that you committed. They'll smoke your ass while there's still smoke coming out the bullet hole. Nah, I'm just playing. That was just a joke. If you did believe that, then you got some issues, man. <laughs> Let's just face it. You need to go see a therapist if you believe that shit. Now, one more thing before I press play. This is a short sentence. It does not show the whole courtroom trials probably because when it all started, he was a minor. A judge tells wheelchair-bound 16-year-old Nathan King his bad choices have altered the lives of three families. Yeah, why the newscaster got to do him like that? The wheelchair-bound 16-year-old, he's about to get smoked coming in at third place. <laughs> this audio is horrible. It sounds like it's from the 80s, but the next clip, I mean, is fresh. I'm like, I don't understand it. A judge tells wheelchair-bound 16-year-old Nathan King his bad choices have altered the lives of three families, including his own. I've seen people go in the system young. It's a mom. And they come out worse. And I don't want him to come out worse. Your damn son shot a man in his head, stole his car, and was going to do it to the woman the next day. And you're going to sit here and cry and talk about how prison's going to just turn people into something worse? Your son's already at the bottom of the barrel i can't stand it man mom or not you know what i mean if this was my son i would have taken a stand i said your honor you know uh i hope you're lenient with him but he has to pay for his bullshit my son can't be shooting people in their fucking face smoke his ass as i'm walking out the courtroom see you later son i'm just playing i don't know how i would handle that shit but at the same time you can't be shooting people in the face I just want to be able to save his life. He's King's mother pleaded with a judge for a light sentence, given his age. Claudia Motley, the man King shot in the face while trying to steal his car, also asked for leniency. There are no winners and losers. There are just losers in this situation. Two days. Wow. That right there. That man did something that I probably couldn't have done. What the hell would y'all do? You got shot in the head. Would you ask the judge for leniency? No, sir. Days after King shot Motley, he tried to carjack Victoria Davidson, but she was armed and shot him. That's why he's in the wheelchair. Strapped She's up. not as forgiving. It has absolutely changed my life. I would do it again, but it has changed my life. Gangster, baby. Gangster to the core. Set it off then. Set it off then. It was terrifying. It scarred me for life, but I'll do it again. <laughs> Oh, he ran up on the wrong chick there, didn't he? Almost in audible voice, King said he was I, sorry. I know I can't change what I did, but I truly show remorse. Claudia Motley has had five surgeries to repair his face and will need three more. Damn. Victoria Davidson says she moved. The judge told King he needs some time to pay for what he's done and Ooh. rehabilitate himself. When the judge says you need some time <laughs> to rehabilitate yourself, that's not too good, my friends. Now, before we move on to the next clip, let's analyze this damn ghetto ass courtroom. Come on, man. Who the hell is going to have a painting with no frame? Look behind the judge. What the hell is that? Are those the sound panels from opening day at Radio Shack? Drapes here on the table. Probably because it's funky, nasty, fold out 
picnic table they bought from damn Walmart. Thought they'd throw some drapes on it, you know what I mean? Fix it up a bit. Got a forklift here from the U-Haul they rented. No, there's no. Do you see any damn lamps? Hell no, and I just heard that someone bought out Tiffany lamps. And those people that bought them out are high pricers. So I think it's time for us all to jump on some Tiffany's. And I will be making a new P.O. box. I removed the last one because I almost got in a fight with the manager at the post office. And I told him, I said, you know what? Keep, keep the box and the mail. All started because I have a damn P. Never mind. I'm not going into that. I'm not going into it. Now, this is the sentencing. And when I first started watching it, <laughs> I couldn't believe the judge's voice. I would never in a million years want to be sentenced by a judge with this voice. It sounds so depressing and sad that there's no way he could have ever found anybody innocent. What you have done is inexcusable in any community that values people. God. Uh, clearly what you have done not only hurt Ms. Damn. Davidson and Mr. Motley, it has hurt this community as a whole. And I'm giving weight to protecting the community and what I think is present danger. Whoa! He's got secret doors back here. Not really secret, but secret at the same time. This courtroom just went from rank 10 to 6. Your Honor, if you had that lamp on the desk, you probably would have been number one. And I'm giving weight to protecting the community and what I think is present dangerousness. So I am going to impose the 20 years on each of the two counts. And um, I believe that means uh, essentially 12 and a half years in prison and seven and a half years on extended supervision. So if my math is correct, Mr. Kring, You'll be about in your late twenties when this is when the incarceration aspect of this case is over. Late twenties, shit. This is prime. He's good. Twelve and a half. He got blessed, man. He. Was... I don't know where the hell this is at, man. But if this was Virginia, man, he wouldn't have been coming out that shit till there's four doors on a microwave. And I think at that point you'll be much less of a danger to the community than you are now. Oh, shit. I love you, babe. Oh, God. I love you so much. Why isn't he saying I love you back? I was like, Mama, help me. Answer the phone call. I need that commissary. Homeboy's all right right there, though. He got shot in the head, and he's still... He's trying to help out the dude. It's a good man right there. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it.